This one shot became a side quest, just so everybody knows, and uh, level ups are... S I hate this push to talk shit. Um, just so everybody knows, I made this an official side quest since it took fucking like three full games to finish, even though the boss is this final third game. But we're gonna make it really cool. I hope that it's worth it. And um, as for level ups, I'll have it figured out by the time we finish. Um, but like by the time we start the next, I don't know. It's hard to say. It depends what happens tonight. But hopefully soon, because I want level ups to be available for the main campaign. Okay, when we actually start this up, I need to turn push to talk off. Somebody remind me to do that. Because I'll keep forgetting. And then you guys will be like, is he fucking talking? Testing one, two. I really hope you guys can hear me well on stream with this fucking headset. It's not coming through that well for me. Testing, one, two, testing. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Alright, hopefully it sounds better. Okay, I think I've got everything set up. Um... I think I've got everything set up. Let me just finish the last bits.
Testing, one, two, testing. Testing, one, two. Alright, it sounds nice and loud. Oh man. I have been obsessed with the Undertale Papyrus and Sans uh fan rap today for some reason. Like first I found a TikTok with it as a sound, and then I had my Amazon uh, uh music playlist going or soundtrack where it just plays songs related to what you listen to. And it finally, for the first time, played it on my Amazon Music, and I just, I put that sucker on repeat today while I was cooking. <laughs> Freaking love it. Testing, one, two. Sorry. You're good. Testing. Okay, uh, so um, if everybody's ready, um, here's what we're going to do. So if you, give me one moment, please. If you can all recall from the last time we played was, mm -hmm. I'm just going to, I'm just going to spell it out for everybody. So everybody's on the same page, yeah? Text. Facts. So here we are. After strolling into the small village of Sik Sik, well, it sounds French. It's spelled like Sikfint, but it's pronounced more like Siphon. <laughs> okay. But y'all wander to the village of Sikfint and, uh, find there to be a small problem with the governor. He hires you guys out. You split up, basically, two of you take out enemies in the woods and recover some valuable loot for the governor per his request. And the two of you rest in the woods as he rests in the village. Upon your awakening, you find that your teammate has left you alone in the woods during the night, and you travel back to town alone to find Majora, uh, now awake in the village with the rest of the villagers, and you immediately go to the governor's house. And then... And then... The governor proceeds to concoct an elixir, which Majora, being easily influenced by a shadow demon, per his affinity for shadows, drinks the elixir and pours it into the well and attacks his teammates. Being bound, Jamoria. Did I fuck up your name? Jamarian. See, he's the fact that you to Jamora, J Majora, Majorian, Jamarian. I got this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been recording every single fucking bit of this to a fucking private message. I give up. I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> yeah, I sent it to someone. Oh my god, just, 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 oh my god. Let me just copy, paste, and delete that real quick. You're good. <laughs> It's not good, though. You don't understand the context, man. <laughs> it's not good. They're, like, 
very unhappy right now. And to text them some random shit like this is very rude, so let's just put it that way. What the fuck? I don't... I literally accidentally sent ERP messages to somebody I wasn't intending to. Yeah, just... And they didn't get mad. It's not the point. It's not the point. Just leave it be. Just leave it be. I didn't say they were mad either. Anyway, my point is... Is... That's irrelevant. I copy-pasted it. It's ridiculous. I can't believe I just sent that entire thing as a fucking video chat to... Fuck. <laughs> as I was saying. The elixir and pours it in the well. Blah -de blah blah. Long story short is you find yourself the players, minus Atsuki, because she was the player that went missing the night prior, uh, find yourself in the middle of this village, which has now been... Oh my god. Is it good? No, just stop. Just stop. I give up. I'm giving up. <laughs> I totally didn't not change from a personal message and change to where I should be at. Oh my god. <laughs> Ignore you that. Crying, you? I'm sorry. This is her. Thank you. I'm better now. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but that was. Hey. Mentions. Where's this mention at? Oh. <laughs> It's where I'm supposed to be. Hello. <sighs> For like the three millionth time. And pour the elixir in the well. <laughs> After pouring the elixir in the well and infecting the entire village, Majora is free of the grasp of the governor. As Jamoria finishes collecting the guard, Scotty, and the alchemist, Jamarian. Alvin. I also didn't collect them. He was up, front, uh, up close and personal with... We're skipping parts. You're getting, we're getting to the point. You're in the middle of town with these guys because you collected them. You got the guard, and the guard collected alchemist. You all collected each other. Now you're all in the middle of town. And you're all pissed off because the residents are pale and fucked up and sick because they've drank the elixir from the well. And the governor comes out onto the balcony and declares you all losers, himself a winner, and that he's like totally going to pwn you noobs. And um, he jumps down with like a superhero landing on his knee and then like spits out like spirit tentacles like little shadow tentacles that are like digging through the ground what I'm imagining is are the hands from Don't Starve it's basically basically that yeah. oh god but like more tentacly a lot more tentacly anyway so these tentacles are slithering through the ground and they're fucking shit up you all took I, you might have took some damage I don't remember point is Scotty gets hit he goes flying into a wall and goes unconscious for a moment. And the alchemist, it wraps up around him and breaks both his legs until the bones are poking through his skin. Oh. Well, good thing he's an alchemist and can heal himself. <laughs> right. So upon seeing this, uh, Majora finally snaps out of it and manages to wield his blade from his portal earring, snapping him out of the governor's control, magically, and awaking Aerojam, and transforming Majora into Aerojam, the almost opposite of Majora, with his uh, fancy, flashy eyes. Meanwhile, after seeing the damage done by these tentacle attacks, Jamarian decides to go for a full swing with his battle axe at the last location that she saw the governor which to his surprise found 
somehow his weapon to connect with the shadows and background noise, sorry. And uh, upon piercing these shadows, also pierced the skin of the governor, which made him reappear after he had disappeared after attacking. Uh, the shadows seemed to be wounded as well, separately from the governor himself, who is, uh, took in a small scratch to the cheek, the shadows themselves seeming to buffer the attack against him, so that there's some sort of, like, layer of shadow armor, if you will, between him and your weapons. Uh, if I could get Jumerian and Majora to roll... I actually, I was gonna say I remember who. Had yeah, no, no, no. Won. This is this is what happened. Is you you did your attack and then he rolled and he he snuffed it. So as he goes up to attack, Majora tries to attack the governor as well. However, he finds that when he um attempts to make contact with the blade against the governor's flesh, that the shadow seems to kind of just bounce it off and uh, stop his hands from pushing the blade any further, almost as if there were residuals of mind control still in Majora's, now known as Aerojam's head. Let me just think. So technically it'd be Governor's turn now, but... Yeah, that's it. Uh... I kind of wanted to make things a little more interesting. So, let me think. Also, Majora is currently hidden in the shadows of the house. <laughs> How are you hidden in the shadows of the house if you're outside? Because um, basically, Majora ran straight past the governor. Yeah, we're, I'll read. That was a joke, dude. Oh. Because you rolled a one? I was like, yeah, yeah you're so, so bad, bad you just roll, run right, right past, past everybody. It. Forget about it. <laughs> oh, well, then ignore me. Yeah, no. Like I said, your weapon bounced off with residuals of mind control, it would seem like. Alright, so... You hear behind you scuffling as... The tiefling alchemist, Alvin, screams out in pain as his uh, as he crawls away from the well, away from villagers who have come out of their homes, out uh, away from that well towards you and the governor, just trying to get away from them mainly. His uh, his legs absolutely crippled. The villagers slowly closing in on him. Uh, to attack him, he uh, he manages to yell out, "Somebody help me over here!" and uh, takes his crossbow that he was wielding and shoots one of the villagers. Um, he manages to do a square head shot, and the head sh and the villager just drops like a sack of dead potatoes, as if the potatoes were alive in the first place. So. After hearing this behind you, um, the governor stands to his feet right in front of you, kind of carelessly, almost as if he wasn't worried about you attacking him again. And... He says to both of you who are standing next to him at this point, he says, I thought you were here to save these villagers. <clears throat> and now they're going to be dropping 
like flies. Yeah. He, uh, what's he gonna do? Yeah. Yes. Just realized I didn't get the entire time I was eating chips. My bad. He. Doesn't even move from in front of you. He says he he kind of tightens all his muscles and flexes for a moment, and you see the shadows around him kind of grow a bit larger as if the shadows were being flexed and not his muscles. And he says to you, So what it'll be? Battle with me, or will you go save these pathetic villagers? Uh, this is not dialogue. For for the time being, if you take any actions, it'll leave dialogue. He's trying to engage in dialogue with you. Are you going to introduce Atsuki into the scene at all? I will. Do you, did you really expect her entrance to just be... She walks through the front door. <laughs> yeah, she just walks through the front gate. Hi! Uh, what's going on over here? Don't worry. It'll be... Uh, it'll be badass. It'll be effectively badass. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it's not going to wait until the last minute. It'll be very soon. But he's trying to talk right now. So the warrior, the warrior, the governor, governor is being a little bit of an asshole. He's like, yeah, so, you know, I'm over here with, you know, my shadows and stuff. And, like, you're just, like, watching villagers die, man, you know? Like, I thought you came to save them, and you're just... Uh, Jamarian will give Aerojam a very annoyed look as he had told Aerojam to take care of the villagers while he took care of the governor. And he will say, I asked you to take care of the villagers. I thought... Okay. <laughs> Listen. I thought if we take him out, it might have snapped them out of it. No, it won't, he says. It's a potion. Fair enough. Aerojam Air Jam exits, exits stage left. <laughs> and in which case, he'll look back at the governor. You still gotta deal with me. Yeah, I'm basically leaving this to uh, Jamarian and the governor for dialogue now. Aerojam is now currently trying to take care of the villagers. Which will probably be combat in and of itself. I would imagine. But remember, remember, Aerojam promised not to injure them, so... Yes. So he has to be very delicate with it. <laughs> what is he going to do? Like, she just blade and just basically try and parry them? Well, see, if he had my gloves, I'd say he could use his daggers by holding the blade and just kind of knocking him over the head with the hilts. <laughs> I only have 30 stamina! Or whatever weapon it is he's wielding currently. He's, he's currently wielding his, uh, his blade. Oh, I thought it was a dagger. My bad. Uh, no, 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 it's a, it's a long sword. It's a long sword. Single edge. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I thought it was a dagger. My bad. <laughs> it's actually in the character media if you want to see it. <laughs> I probably just derped on it. I tend to do that. Yeah, it's like right above Jamarian. Hmm. Gotcha. My chest is on fire. Just have this rectangle of red. Well, Jamarian literally looked at the governor and said, you still gotta deal with me. 
Eric, let me just tell you this now. Airjam wants nothing to do with the governor. All you face it at this point, because he knows that if yeah, if he talks with the governor, he's gonna get pissed off, and he's gonna end up trying to try and basically kill the fucker. I mean, the guy may, 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 be chaotic, may be chaotic, but at the same time, he he knows. When is a good time to con converse with someone and when is it not? Here we go. Keep his mouth shut and trying to... Oh, okay. That's actually a really... That's a really fucking cool name. Never. Never. Well, still, it sounds fucking dope. I'm going to try and force my way out. Let's just force my way out. All right, fair enough, but still. D20s, right? In Best Box of Death? Or, okay. Okay. 
16. Nice roll. I was going to say something tells me I needed at least 18 or higher. And I definitely didn't get a good roll. Huh? Okay. Everybody rolls on for initiative? Yeah. Alright. Mine was 18. I know I was before. I believe I was like really freaking low. Yeah. yeah somewhere in there. Okay, so Air Air Jam goes last. Okay, so upon rolling to the ground, you know, as he gets plucked up out of this abyss, we're getting his fair heights almost actually made him scream like a girl, let's be honest here. Um, Mm -hmm. Right.
that. Okay. As I was saying, so as the girly screaming Jamarian got pulled out of the abyss because he has a fear fight and falling and yeah. Um he goes, you know, rolling across the ground and of course he'll hop up facing back to where the governor is. He'll look at Suki for a second. Play with the idea of starting up some dialogue here, but then he just turns back to the governor and he's just gonna rush his ass over there um, with his battle axe to try and knock him prone. So, are you attempting an attack or like to grab him yeah, and like uh, knock him down? He's ta he's using his battle axe. Uh, more like the flat of the blade to just yeah. try and knock his ass out because his his goal here is to shove that elixir down that man's throat. He believes in just desserts. He wants the he wants this man to suffer. Why don't? Okay, uh, just basically to tell you to straight up the way to do that. If you really want him to drink it, your best bet is to coordinate with your friends and have someone hold him down. While you pour it down his throat. That's really the only way you're going to get it down his no, throat. No, that's fair, but I'm still going to try and knock him prone first. Right, right. I was just letting you, you know, just sitting on it. So, go for a, uh, the flat of the blade. Let's say, all right. Yeah, roll a d20. Let's see what you got. Oh, fuck. That ain't going to hit. Oh, for sake! Um, so, here's something interesting I actually want to try. If it doesn't work out, just tell me. We'll fix it right away. But what I want to try is introducing this. Is You all tell me what you guys want to do. And then we'll have it all unfold. And then we'll move on to the next turn. Instead of being like, what you did unfolds. And then what someone else does because someone could be doing something okay. while you do this or do you think that complicates things i mean i literally played a system where the dude was all this is all real-time combat we're doing this bitches oh so, so like, like if i'm saying i'm, I'm going, going for the attack on his neck wait, wait stop no i throw a dagger <laughs> it's like oh there he would fully play out consequences of people accidentally doubling up on each other and everything in the heat of battle he, he, he loved the chaos. <laughs> he would, he would uh, give negative, negative to, um, hold on, negative to doubling down? I don't get it. Why would he do that? Wouldn't you want to double up? Like, wouldn't you want to attack the same person with somebody? It would make things better, I feel like. Well, no, I was meaning, like, if somebody, like, if we did... If we didn't communicate properly during the real-time battle, and, like, somebody uh, went to attack the enemy at the same time as the other person and accidentally hit the other person type deal, like, he, he was all about friendly fire and chaos and accidents. <laughs> Especially since we had some really interesting party makeups. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys what. Since I haven't tested it in battle yet, quite literally, I'm just going to keep it how we had it. Okay. And then, um, which is similar, but just a little bit different. It kind of happens still all at the same time, regardless. So, you, 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 um, Jamarian stands up from screaming like a girl after being dangled over a pit of black abyss and readies her battle axe. For a swing against the governor using the flat of the blade. And the, uh, all the, the commotion has kind of got Jamarian off balance. So the, the, the attack doesn't quite land flush. And you feel it just bounce off the shadowy armor. Okay. It'd be Ashley's turn now. Yeah. Ash. 
Is she there? I would hope so. Oh, she's typing. Okay. Alright. <laughs> like, give me a sec, damn it. You okay there? So you could hear me. <laughs> yes. So my mute button does them. not work. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and yeah, I'm okay. It's just really big hit. We'll just use this mute button. Can you guys hear me now? No? Didn't think so. Um, you can hear me now, right? Huh? I'm sorry, you were muted and deafened there for a minute. What? Yeah. I said what? You were muted and deafened there for a minute? So this button? That does both of them? Yeah. This is just that my mute button. and deafens you. This is just the one I wanted. Right here. This button right here. This is my mute button. Boom, boom. Can you hear me now? That was just muting you. You can hear me. You can hear me now, right? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on on my end. Forget your end. I have a mute button. I'm. Uh, it's a hotkey. It's a keybind. It's for, for purpose. You can hear me. Gotcha. Okay? Yes, that's all that's important is that everybody can hear me, and then, then um, the stream should be able to hear me as well, so, although I just realized my camera is not on my stream. Hello folks, shall we put a webcam on? Uh, there is no webcam, what do you know? Oh, I think because I'm using it on. I think it's because it's on this. Let me try turning this one off. It should work on the stream now. There we go. Bro, the background noise. Please mute your headset. It's like so bad. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. There, everything should be nice and organized for my stream. You guys should be able to hear me right now. Meanwhile, they cannot hear me. So that means I can talk to you guys about what I'm thinking, what's going on behind the scenes sort of deal. Well, they kind of sit there and suffer. Nice. So anyway. Oh, it's not what I wanted. There we go. Minimize that for a second while we have this cool background. So while Ash is AFK, let's have a chat here. Um, is there anything in particular you guys want to see in this side quest? Okay, no. Sorry. Um, I don't have anything in particular. I'm good. I'm enjoying the way things are unfolding. Has there been anything in particular so far that's been more interesting than the rest of it? I've just enjoyed this, like the interaction with the NPCs and stuff. 
especially Scotty and the Alchemist. Yeah, to, I'm. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I knocked him out on purpose so he didn't get killed. <laughs> I'm like, like, I want Scotty to live too. too. So I'm like, like if, if he's if he's, he's unconscious, unconscious the, the fucking guys, the guys won't try to stab, stab him, so he'll be okay. okay. He won't have to do saving throws every three minutes to <laughs> save his life. <laughs> yeah, I will be right back while Ash is AFK. Um, I gotta just take a bio break quick. Yeah, you're good. You can just save right now. <laughs> Like, I would just say bring it back. Or, like... Yeah. Anyways. So, how's it going, folks? Says I have three viewers. One of those is obviously myself. But if anybody else is there, how's it going? How's your night? What's going on? How do you do? Let's get some fucking music going, man. You know what I mean? They have good, like, uh, tavern music, but they don't really have good, like, tension building music, you know? I'm back. Welcome back. I'm back as well. I just finished up cleaning some dishes. Sorry oh. about the wait. <laughs> no problem. Welcome back, Ash. Oh, good. Bring up a chill music on this stuff. <clears throat> so, um, Atsuki, whenever you're ready, just let me know what you decide to do for your turn. Oh, okay, that's fine.
Just to make sure of what happened, Jamarian missed, right? Correct. Yeah, her okay. using the flat of her battle axe, it just bounced off the shadowy armor of the governor. Oh, okay. Well, I was actually thinking of using one of my spells, if that's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I will say that <clears throat> most of your spells consist of fire or light, and either one of those will provide lighting and give some interesting details. I was probably going to use a celestial burst, if that's fine. You just like shoot it at him. Yeah, just give me one sec to put your stats up on screen. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I zoned out for a little bit there. <laughs> You're all good. Try to stay awake. Um, she's about to use Celestial Burst. I was just putting her stats up on the screen so that I could uh, all right, all right. keep track of that. <clears throat> um, all right. So, Celestial Burst, eh? Let's see how much damage that takes real quick. Celestial Burst is 10 stamina. Shoots out a blast of light at your opponent to send them flying backwards. 2d5 per enemy hit. Cost 10 stamina. I just realized. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, fuck. I meant to mute. Ignore that. Okay. <clears throat> Ashley, roll a d20 for me, please. I actually need to use, for, use the rest room. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, it's your turn next, so we'll wait for you. There we go. I finally got all the information on the screen. <clears throat> Let's see. Whatever shall we do with this? What shall we do? As Atsuki recovers from landing, after saving both other players of the party from nearly falling to their deaths, she readies her staff. Quick question, this comes from the staff, not hands, right? I 
Ashley, you there? <coughs> where, where are my players going? This is a bit ridiculous. Hello. Is anybody even still here? I'm here. Well, since she's AFK or some shit, I'm just gonna uh, assume it's your staff. I'm pretty sure it's your staff. Welcome back. The um, celestial burst of light comes from the tip of her staff as it blows the governor back through the window of his house. Before he is completely blown back through the window, you notice that it seems as though the ball of light, or the burst of light, when it illuminated him. Um, who would like to roll a perception check? I can. You may roll a perception check. D20, right? Oh, never mind. Can I use my sandals? What are your sandals? Are plus four, right? Two each? Yeah. Plus four, and it's... We really need to knock down that salmon cost. That's really expensive. It's only... What was it? How much is it? It's ten, like ten it? per sandal, and that's... That's a bit much. No, it's ten for four points. You're getting plus four to your perception, which makes it a 15. And you're going from 30 stamina to 20. You're the lowest stamina, by the way. I know, but it's but it's per sandal. I get plus four per sandal. All right, then you get 20 whatever perception on that roll. Fucking. <clears throat> As the. Uh, First stamina, so that's like illuminated right there. the governor's face, you notice that his face seemed off to you, as if it was being worn and instead of being snug to his skeleton. Uh, as he goes flying through the window, uh, his window was boarded up with boards, and all the boards get smashed as uh, he goes flying through his window, and um, you just hear the cracking of the wood, and you can't tell if it was the wood or his bones that were shattering as he goes through the window, and glass and wood just falls all over the ground in front of his house, and uh, you prepare yourselves for the next move. Which would be joyous. So now it's just my turn? Yeah. Alright. Well, Majora's definitely. Majora, after getting saved, is definitely in a fa- or, God damn it, I did it. Air Jam is definitely face down in the dirt, like full on belly flops after getting saved. So he's literally gonna get up, spit out a fucking mouthful of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> 
Oh, before I forget, um, Ashley, can you roll a, um... And he proceeds to run over to... Oh, hold on one second. Uh, Ashley, can, can you roll a, uh... And try and get him to safety. Dude. One sec, bro. <laughs> Ashley, can you, um, roll a, uh... 2d5s? I forgot to ask you to roll her damage for me. So you go over to the other tiefling to save him? Yeah, I'm trying to... Basically, I don't want either of the NPCs to die, to be perfectly fucking honest with you. Okay, Scotty's unconscious, so you don't need to worry about him right now. But that other yeah, tiefling, I know. Alvin... Yeah, currently not, not seen as a threat, so... Yeah, Alvin was being surrounded, so there was still another villager about to attack him. Um, so you're going his direction. What are you going to do to save him? Are you going to knock back this villager, pick up the tiefling and pull him away, kill the villager, uh, knock out the villager? Like, uh, well, how are you going to do this? We're going to basically try and do a freaking football tackle and... Basically, you push the villager out of the way. Roll a d20. Roll a d20 for this? Okay. Yep. Hey, uh... Unseen, um... Ash is having a bit of issues hearing hearing you completely <laughs> over the background noise. Yeah, I know. Are I was flying it myself. Are you fucking me up the arse? Well, no, I was meaning because uh, she's been, you know, she's been unresponsive to some of the stuff you're saying. It's because she's having issues hearing you. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, I'd rather take a cock off the ass than get these fucking rolls. I rolled a fucking one. Playing as Majora. Godly rolls. Playing as, playing as Aerojam. Get it as hell, all hell rolls. Fucking technical difficulties, man. If I had a dollar for every technical difficulty I ever had, I swear. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I, I'm genuinely upset by this. That's just so like what happened to Jam last night, trying to force feed him that elixir. It's not your sound, it's my fan. Never mind, she left. <laughs> Straight up. Goes to do basically football, ta basically trying to Football shoulder bash it, the villager out of the way. Freaking trips over, trips over one of his feet and eats another, feet, eats another mouthful of dirt. Just. <clears throat> oh no, damn! Fuck's sake. You'll be fine. <laughs> There she is. Alright, yeah, I was trying to tell you it's a fucking air conditioner in the background. There's really not much I can do about it. So, um, yeah, because I turned it off. So anyways, like I was saying, you rolled a one, which sucks for you, dude, but it's not all bad. As you go to save the fellow tiefling named Alvin, the alchemist, you uh, have to deal with the villager that is coming to attack the tiefling alchemist. And, uh, although you aren't able to deal with him successfully, you do stop him from continuing on and killing Alvin. So you two are currently struggling right now for dominance in this fight. You want to mute for one second? Your background noise. Dude. I said it's your background noise. Can you mute for one second? Sorry. sorry. You're all good. Sorry. Like I said, it's alright. You didn't completely whiff it with that villager, so now that you two, three, have completed your turns. You all hear laughing as the governor stands up from behind the uh, windowsill. And you can see that as he stands up, the darkness, the shadows start to... Uh, surround him again but as they do you can see his face and you can see that 
what you saw was correct. His skin is not quite correctly attached to his face. And now that he's not completely surrounded by shadows, something about his bone structure seems off or wrong. Oh. As the darkness and shadow reconsume the governor and you are unable to see him clearly again, he laughs. <laughs> you can't oh, kill me feel... that easily. I feel bad for this poor man. Oh. Well, the governor himself. Not whatever the before fighting. No, whatever's possessing him. Yeah. Don't feel bad for that thing. But for the governor? Dude's getting messed the fuck up. Yeah, it's very unlikely the governor himself is going to survive this. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. But then again, we would have to deal with the freaking thing that's possessing the governor still. It's one of the reasons I want Trey actually force feeding him the elixir and see what happens. Hell, I want to force feed him the freaking cure, see what it's that does anything. <clears throat> no, let him have his just desserts. Yeah. <laughs> the enough. governor takes what you could call a step through his window more like floating through it as he never really seems to touch the ground as he more floats on these shadows that he walks on and as he steps outside of his house he lets out this shriek this trill that is so loud and so piercing it seems to um, cut right through the layers and go straight to your uh, eardrums and it just pierces straight through and your eardrums feel as though someone's took a pin and has started poking in your around in your ear with a needle it's so loud and so painful <coughs> as he does this more villagers start to come out of their buildings. About four villagers come out of their building and start surrounding Majora or Adrum and the tiefling Elvin as Majora fights with another villager over his weaponry. Uh, Meanwhile, the tiefling tries his best to crawl away from what is happening between those two and manages to put quite some distance considering his broken legs between the villagers and himself, giving him a bit of saving grace. The governor, after letting out this trill and the villagers coming out from their house <coughs> uh, speaks and uh, warns you that um, this is just the beginning even if it ends here as he says this I should say. As he says this, <clears throat> he starts to levitate just ever so slightly in the air. And, uh... Give me one second. I'm just seeing... What fucking... He doesn't have a lot of stamina left, so he can't really use a lot of attacks anymore. He's got like a... I can do this one. 
Okay, I like this one actually. Okay. It's called Shadow Strike. The governor disappears into the shadows again. Everybody roll saving throws. Start with in in turn, Jamorian, Jamarian, and then Natsuki, and then Oof. Five seconds has to transfer between each roll, so fourteen's good. All right, right, let's, see, let's see what you got. Oh, I almost rolled roll the D thirty. That would have been a win. Why well, did you still get a one? Nine, jeez. <clears throat> Ashley's oh, the only one with wings there that managed to not get hit. Obviously. Also, is an angel of fucking light. Right on. Sensing something in the air as the governor disappears into the shadows Atsuki leaps slash takes flight for a moment of time just briefly as she can see this hint of movement between shadows as Jamarian and Majora are seemingly hit out of nowhere by the shadows for uh damage each. Just gonna get fucked over. I'm supposed to, you know, I'll fuck it. I'll roll my full three. I'm supposed to... Oh, wait, no, that was my three. Never mind. Yeah, I fucked up. It says roll three D5s. And I'm like, fuck it, I'll roll a 15 then. It'll give me something good, right? No. <laughs> no, no. Let me see. Let me see what it should be. Let, let me see what it should be. First of all, a fucking four. <laughs> wow, nine. Oi. Oi, mate. Eleven. It would originally been eleven instead of two. You know what? I'm rolling with advantage. I'm kidding. I'll stick with the two. It'd be fucked up. So yeah, it only does two damage, but it still hits two. So now that the um, attack is over, Atsuki lands back on the ground, and it is Jamarian's turn to move, attack, or initiate dialogue, what have you. Alright, so remind me where the boss is at from where I'm at now. You just tried fucking his face, so you're like right next to him. Well, you were next to him, and he got blasted through the window. But coming back through the window put him almost right back in front of you. Let's see, he did do a shadow yeah. strike, though. That could have moved him. I never I said he that. reappeared after going into the shadows. He's currently... He is currently not visible. You guys cannot see him. Can I roll the, perception? The last, regardless of what you roll, I'm going to tell you that the last time you saw him, he moved into the shadows. So he is currently a shadow. So, so I'm the only one who really knows. You could know. To be quite frank, the only way you would be able to see him is if you had a source of light to get rid of those shadows. Or dark vision? Um, I thought you was. I don't think she has dark vision. I, yes, I do. Tiefling yeah. have dark vision. Oh, yeah, they do. I never. Did we ever agree on that? Because, like, it doesn't have it in your skills as something that's used to stamina. It should have been. 
Well, I'll update it. What's what's how does dark vision work? Um, I, I never read the, in I dim never read light, they can it. see as though it was full light up to sixty feet, and then if it's dark, they can see as if it was dim light up to thirty feet. You can see in the dark. <laughs> yes. I'm simplifying it for them. Uh, this is gonna cost a lot of stamina. We'll say a quarter, like twenty-five. That's reasonable, right? Yeah, uh, I would have gone fifteen, but yeah. Well, how long do you assume this lasts? Um, it usually lasts until they deactivate it. Yeah, that's what but, I was um, thinking. It cost twenty five. Or until you know, short rest. I mean, like, <coughs> you don't really. Hello? Sorry, excuse me. I was dying for a second. You don't really have any skills that use stamina anyway, so I need something that uses your stamina up. It costs 25. Okay. You have an amulet anyway, so you still have uh, 90, I think it is. But, uh, so yeah, you use dark vision, and i tell you what happens in just a moment. Mm -hmm. As, uh, as Jamarian uses dark vision, her eyes flicker. I'll fix that. I'll, I'll, I'll get your gender right one of these days. <laughs> it's fine. He, uh, his eyes flicker, and the shadows seem to blend in with the light. As this happens, she can see movement of a shadowy figure, not quite a physical material figure, but a shadowy figure, going from shadow to shadow, from building to building, and um, is able to communicate this figure's current position by pointing, and it is located in between the struggle of Majora and the villager and you two which consists of Jamarian and Atsuki which are nearby each other but not quite shoulder to shoulder in front of the governor's house um they're fighting down closer like t towards the front gate like towards the exit not not in front of the building. So there's quite a bit of space between you, then the governor, then Majora and the villager fighting, then more villagers, then the like, front gate sort of deal, if you want to look at it that way. Alright, so Jamarian will lean over to Atsuki and whisper very quietly to her to follow him and back him up if he can get this to work correctly. So, he will run at the shadow figure and attempt to knock him prone again. Sorry, my shit cut out for a sec. All I heard was something at the shadow figure. He will run at the shadow figure once more and attempt to knock him prone again. All right, roll that d20. After having, uh, did you hear a bit about talking to Atsuki? No. 
Uh, he had leaned over telling Atsuki to back him up, <laughs> assuming that, you know, everything can work out. Because I don't trust these right dice on. for right shit. On. Right on. Roll that 20. Let's see what happens. Ah! Well, here's the thing, is he doesn't know you can see him. So, so do I get advantage? So you get a little bit of an advantage here. And, so um, do I get a roll again? Well, there's really no need to, because, I mean... Okay. Like I said, he doesn't know you can see him, so you could basically walk right up to him and just punch him in his face, like... He he kind of he, he he he. I mean, obviously, you're gonna do what you do, but I'm just saying in terms of like timing, like he wouldn't realize you see him until like you are standing next to him, and he's like, "Oh shit, wait a minute, fuck, he see me." I have a question. I have a question. So like, if he goes in for a punch, can I like use one of my spells, like my my like gauntlets, on him instead? And so, like, that way, when he goes in for the punch, he can pack a little more extra damage. You want to use your light know. armor on the shadow figure or on Jamarian? On Jamarian. You can give, so then he can, you know. You can give Jamarian armor, but he's not getting attacked right now, so. Mm. Um... Save oh, it for later. You, when he was saying back him up, he's hoping she's going to run up and pin the dude down after he knocks him down. Oh, okay. Then, then, then. Save enough for later, then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... So. This is weird. Why did I... Why did I do this? For some reason... Ish. So, she wants to use light gauntlets. And for some reason, it's written down that it gives plus one to your, to your, basically your dodge roll, your armor roll, your saving throw, or whatever, instead of giving you plus one damage, which, I don't know why we ever did that, because she has light shield, which does that, and then she has light gauntlets, which were meant for more damage, so I don't know why I fucked that up, I'll fix that right now, so you want to give them more strength to pin the shadowy figure down with, basically. Okay. okay, that'd be perfect. So you're going to use your turn, and you cast... Oops. Shit, what was your... What was it? We'll put it at 80. I think it was 80. Um, you cast... I'm fucking this up. I almost called it Ball of Light like three times. It's not what it's called. It's called Light Gauntlet. So, Atsuki casts Light Gauntlet on Jamarian as they communicate that Jamarian can see the shadow figure and is going to attempt to grapple with it and send it to the ground. Am I correct in that? Hello, Jamarian. I'm here. Sorry. Am All I, right. am I oh. correct in what I said? You want to basically grapple it to the ground using your battle axe? Yeah. Okay. And as Jamarian approaches, the light gauntlets shine in the eyes of the governor, who is in a somewhat celestial form as a shadowy figure hidden in the darkness. And it's only a little too late does he realize that Jamarian can actually see him before Jamarian manages to pin him down with the butt of the battle axe. But it's not a full grapple, so you do not have complete control over him, but you did manage to pin him up against the wall that was nearby using the... um. Okay. Butt of your battle axe and trying to use the front to like pin him against it. So like okay. you basically have half of your battle axe on him instead of having your full weight on right. him. And of course he's going to look at the rest of his party and say, Help me hold him Right on. So, uh Ashley used her turn for right. 
Um, so. Here's the thing. Those light gauntlets give you plus one strength. And st instead of damage, I wrote plus one strength, which will just give you, like... Uh, I'll say it this way. Jamarian feels a surge of energy through his muscles coursing as he hope, tries to pin the governor in place as the light gauntlets um, affect his strength. There. That describes it effectively. <clears throat> so it's now Majora's turn. Majora, you there? What? You a Majora, you there? Yeah, I'm here. It's your turn. I'm just trying to plan what to do. Hey, you know what? Atsuki, Atsuki and Jamarian has the governor covered. I'm gonna uh, try and keep. I'm just gonna try and keep the Tiefling yeah. and and uh, Scotty alive. Oh dear. I don't know, guys. Okay. I really needed somebody to come hold him before my next turn. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. What do you want me to do then? <laughs> well, Jamarian said oh, somebody oh. hold him. And Atsuki used her turn to buff up my strength. So. You, here's right, the thing. Yeah. You are, you you are holding him. Oh, what I'm trying to tell you is you are holding him. Light gauntlets give you plus one strength. Therefore, you are holding him. Right. right. That's the whole point right. of but using I'm the gauntlets. I'm asking someone to help hold him so I can force feed him the elixir. <laughs> because right. holding him in place with both hands right now, I can't really do that. All right. If the alchemist dies, it's on you. I mean, Jamarian already came to terms with at least one person is going to die in this fight. Aside from the governor, that is just a fact of life. Yeah. At this point. It's... <laughs> I, don't want to I don't want the alchemist to die. He may be an asshole, but... I mean, I don't still. ideally want anybody to die either, but... <laughs> At least if we take out the big head honcho, we can focus on people that need help. <coughs> the tiefling has his fucking legs broken. There's not much he can do. I'm not disputing that. That was... I'm saying we can better help him if we're, we don't have to deal with this asshole. <sighs> I will even let you force feed him the elixir if you want. An agility check? Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck this fucking see? thing. There we go. Woo! Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick, Jack, jump over the candlestick. Nice! Finally. I think I will tackle the governor. Thank you very much. Definitely. <laughs> With a roll like that, yeah, I'm tackling the fucking governor. <laughs> I'm putting the fucker down with my blade. I'm not. I'm not holding him down. I'm not holding him down. He's pinned down by a freaking Majora, pinning his shoulder to the freaking ground. Majora Aerojam, sick of grappling with the peasant, does a leg sweep and throws the peasant to the ground, loosening the knife from the villager's hand. The four other villagers closing in, he turns his back. Oh, that's right. And as he does, he sees Scotty, and Scotty says, Oi, mate, don't you worry about them, I'll handle this, you don't get that piece of shit. As Scotty rejuvenates well enough, he comes in and stomps the villager on the ground who Majora has previously thrown there using his sick leg sweep. Scotty continues to uh, 
stomp the villager down as Majora heads, heads towards, towards the governor to help Jamarian pin him down. As he does, he takes one last good look behind him as he sees Scotty stomp out the one villager that he had on the ground and then continue to stab another villager through the stomach. Meanwhile, he's being advanced upon by the other three villagers as they surround him as, and Elvin. You hear screams of battle behind you as you tackle the governor and get him in a full headlock. I'm not gonna lie, I am I am Scotty, the hero nobody asked for, but the hero we fucking needed. I am so glad I gave him I gave him that that self in the beginning of all this. Oh yeah, dude. Or he had been possessed too. Yeah. First off, we gave him a self, and then we reattached his hand, give it back. Most of it's a, most of it's like. That's the only mobility. way he can even attack right now. It was his fighting yeah. hand. It was his good hand. It was this, his sword fighting hand. So. Yeah, we really legitimately. S s basically, ease this guy. I ease this guy's pain. He and Atsuki basically saved, basically saved him from be from having to resign as a guard. And now he's say now he's helping our ass. Fucking Scotty, just he deserves an appreciation day. <laughs> so the current he's situation. He's paying us back for all for how much we've done for him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, out of character. I kind of want our people to help rebuild this village after this. Oh, hell yeah. Majora is definitely yeah, going to yeah, get... Uh, Majora, basically, this is the first maybe even have their own in that he here. wasn't actually, like, terrified of. And actually so, may maybe have their own uh, homes that they return to every so often here after this. Yes, I love the sound of that. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but go on! Finds... The governor in a sticky situation. And the sounds of battle can be heard nearby as time seems to slow down and the moments become more precious. As Majora squeezes his headlock tight around the governor's neck, he's unable to scream properly to get the attention of the nearby villagers who have now surrounded Scotty and Elvin. He's got him to fall on a sleeper hold. As I don't know how he would do that with because he has to have one hand on the blade, but he'll find a way. As more villagers pour out from their houses, you see ten more vi vi villagers come out as they surround them yeah. and advance towards you. It's complete chaos yeah. in the streets. Ah, right. As um, as you have him in a headlock, he like I said, he's unable to scream properly. <laughs> Most he certainly, is kicking and trying to escape the best he can. Elbowing, elbowing air, air jam right in the side, trying to get him to lose in his grip. Hitting everyone nearby with multiple blows, but not doing any significant damage. Everybody roll d20. Alright. <laughs> uh, ooh! Or, ooh, is that a good or a bad thing? It's not, like, below 10! <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad roll. It's just that I was thinking, oh god, that's about the amount of damage uh, that you're about to take. But then I was like, oh wait, 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 no, no, this is this is like a saving roll. Yeah, this is a saving throw. Yeah, I was like, roll, I thought it was like rolled to see how much damage you take. My bad. And a d20. Ooh. Well, we know who managed to hold his headlock on. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are crazy lucky. 
You guys are crazy. Let's go! <laughs> you are I mean, all. Know. Seem... I know. I know. I know. I know. Go ahead, sir. Oh my god. Aerojam, or Aerojam, cannot fight for shit. Majora can't land a hit for shit. But when it comes to freaking like defensive shit, Ace just. Those golly rolls keep on coming. Ashley, what'd you say? Atsuki. Maybe she said be right back? Possibly. I don't know. What's well, kind of quiet? Can you hear, can she hear you better than she can hear me is the question. Try asking well, she, her. I know she was hearing you uh, better after the AC seemingly disappeared one sec. Doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway, here's what happens. So check it out. You guys are extremely fucking lucky. Majora manages to hold his headlock against all odds until the governor is almost ready to seemingly pass out. But he doesn't. He keeps his struggle up. As you see shadows fly by people's face from left and from right as if they were daggers being thrown from the shadows. But nothing connects with any of the players as they continue to hold him down. So, what do you do now that you have him pinned down? You basically have initiative right now. Everyone has initiative on him right now, this moment. Like, it's like time is frozen. It's All like, right, this gonna, is the moment. I was going to gonna stay with Aerodrome's permission. Yeah. Jamarian, you first. Okay. So, Jamarian's going to reach into his bag, finally pull out the elixir. And he's going to go in and he's going to pour it in that fucker's mouth. And we'll force it shut so he has to swallow it too. And plug his nose. Thank you so much. He ain't no dum dum. He knows how to force feed people. <laughs> Wait, he's a nice guy. And he knows how to force feed people. Those two things don't add up. <laughs> don't kill <laughs> him. <laughs> don't kill <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. Real quick, which elixir are you feeding to him? Real quick, just to be sure, which elixir are you feeding to him? The bad one. Um, like the mind control one. So the one he force fed so down. Uh, you're feeding him his own medicine, basically, not the one yes, that yeah. Alvin the Alchemist made. No, 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 no. He, we're literally giving him a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, I'm giving giving him the medicine he made. Mm-hmm. Okay. The quote-unquote medicine. Yeah, quote-unquote. And besides, if it was up to the uh, Majora, he would have just slit the fucker's throat right then and there. Or air jam. Okay. I figured it out. So, yeah. This is what happens. Are you prepared for the consequences of your actions, players? Yeah. Uh oh. Here they are. Uh, we're foxy. <clears throat> the town of Seafoam. Seafoam. What the fuck? Finds itself dead quiet as the last drop of elixir pours from the bottle down the governor's throat. This elixir had been made for the purpose of controlling the minds of these villagers via the link with the shadow. Um... However, now that he has consumed it, he cannot control his own mind. Oh shit. You all find yourselves pushed back by waves of energy. Shadow. Waves of shadow energy. 
Majora's headlock is instantly released as almost as if he was holding a balloon that was growing bigger and bigger. Yeah, basically, Major or Air Jam is just flung way the fuck off. I was, and, I was actually considering him hitting a stone wall. As well as Chimerian forced to step back, as well as Atsuki, as the waves of energy con continue to pulsate outwards from the governor's body, which lay prone on the ground. As you notice, the villagers nearby have uh, completely stopped moving and uh, stand still, but shake uncontrollably, almost as if they are having trouble controlling their muscle movements. The governor's body starts revolting and twitching on the floor in spasmic movements. And uh, you hear what sounds like it attempt to scream, but the sound is muffled through the shadows as if the shadows were walls of water and the sound echoed through them like that. Is it okay if I do one thing? Yeah, anybody can perception check or anything right now if you want. What oh you, no, I was gonna perception check. Do? I was gonna say due to the due to Majora getting knocked back, he manages he manages to drop his blade. Yeah, that's fine. So now Aerojam is back to being Majora. It's about damn time, but yeah. And basically, as soon as the you drop the blade, the blade basically just evaporates. It doesn't quite shatter like his daggers. It just sounds good. Yeah. So now Majora is just lying face down. At the end of all this, <clears throat> you find that the governor lie prone uh, in a sort of cocoon of shadows uh, motionless. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I would like to do a quick perception roll, uh, roll just to see where the villagers are at. They're behind and you. And what they're right doing. Behind. Okay, they're, so they're not moving. Well, they're like twitching. They're, they're twitching? They're standing there twitching like they're having like fucking stand-up seizures or something weird like that. Okay, might I do a perception check on the shadows? I'm going to take a quick AFK, and then I'm going to come back and start... Well, if you want to say he does it while I'm AFK, he would go around and start uh, using water out of the well to try and return people to normal. Okay. Oh, okay. And Fair Ashley, enough. what'd you ask? Sorry. If I could do a perception check on the shadows, if that's okay. The ones surrounding the governor? Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Roll a d20. I was wondering when someone was going to do that. <clears throat> As a sort of light specialist, you use a small glow from your hand to study the shadow that is over the governor and you find that as you run the light over it it seems to evaporate and you can get through to the governor's flesh itself as if the cocoon of shadows wasn't there anymore your light's very powerful against the shadow <clears throat> but you also find that the shadow seems to recoil separately from your light than the governor as if they were two separate entities Yeah, it's still Atsugi's turn, so... Yeah. I mean, I didn't really want to do anything else. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do either, because I don't have a light power, so I can't try and, like, dis fully disperse the shadows. 
Well, yeah. And besides, the, the I'm shadows are kind I'm of keeping that line down, face face first in the ground, just I'm groaning as if I just got fucking punched in the gut. So currently, uh, the governor is in a shadow ca cocoon, which seems to be keeping him alive. But your light is very powerful against it. But the governor himself is out cold. He he's not gonna wake up, from what you can see. Like he's like he's like basically in a shadow coma and uh Majora's against the wall half unconscious spitting dirt out finally dropped his blade meanwhile Jamarian is passing out uh well force feeding water down the throats of these some spastic villagers um as he does the oh the medicine that the alchemist Alvin had made fixes whatever was wrong with these people as the uh, connection between their minds and the shadows is severed and people start returning to I, uh, what you could call them normal selves although somewhat vacant and seemingly not quite themselves everyone seems a bit distant and uh bit out of it and a bit zombified if you will so they're all kind of numb and kind of in shock and not really doing so well but they're alive which is very important <clears throat> oh boy. your party gains renown from the surviving villagers as the villagers return to normal you find that Scotty held his own out there in those streets, although he was wounded Adamoy, severely. And you find him laying next to Elvin with a dagger sticking out of his stomach. No! Meanwhile, Alvin next to him has his head crushed in by some blunt object and lie motionless and dead next to Scotty who lie next to him with his weapon dropped stabbed in the stomach lying on his back in pain looking over at his tiefling friend and crying silently no! I knew he should have stayed back The rest of the villagers start to go back to their houses, and those that are able help Scotty in his um, current situation. A couple of them stand afar back from you, but both and the governor, and examine what's going on. And let me guess, there's no saving the tiefling, is there? His head is completely caved in. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. So out of 46 villagers, four died. That includes the governor, so if you kill him, it'll be five. <laughs> well, the thing is, I... I don't know. It, it, it might be possible to actually save the governor, but at the same time... I'm back for a minute. What happened? Welcome back. Basically, um, the tiefling died. Okay, uh, but what about the villagers and stuff? They're all, like, returning back to normal. Some of them are more zombified than others. Okay, without skipping or missing a beat, and just pure jubilee happenings, yes, the tiefling died. Jamarian understands that. But he's also relieved that the overall situation is resolved. He'll turn around, run up to Atsuki, grab her butt, uh, like, wrap his arms down around her waist, pick her up in a great big ol' hug. Um, might I remind you that the governor is still having a freaking, having a freaking whale of a time in drug land over here. Okay, I'll let uh, Jamarian yeah. have this for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll see myself out. I 
Is that an actual action? What are you deciding to do here? He just went over and picked Atsuki up into a giant hug. Okay. You can always use the command. Use what? The CMD, the command. Exclamation point hug at Atsuki. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the villagers all go home, the guys are helping Scotty, and the governor is, like, in a shadow coma. Um, so the guy that gave you the quest is currently in a shadow coma. <laughs> Meaning that we won't be paid <laughs> unless if we... Either A, it's, save him, let's just say or B, kill him. Quite over so is Atsuki so, going to get to react to what just happened? Because Jamari yeah, did pick her up off the ground. It's your, and, it's your, and it's true, it's true. It's and Majora's still technically like half unconscious here Fuck due to getting basically bashed up against the wall. Yeah, it's still your turn. Governor can't do anything. He's in a coma. I have a concussion. <laughs> Sorry, I had to add that. So I was actually be a little surprised by the fact that he picked her up so suddenly, but then she just like goes along with it and just laughs. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> okay, okay, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> he'll set her back down gently, and then he'll walk yeah. over to the governor where he's laying and just kind of look down. Does nobody care about Majora. <laughs> He's not even sure Majora's Majora yet. As far as he knows, he's still Aerojam. And he don't give a fuck about Aerojam. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Continue. Continue. He will just kind of squat down and kind of poke the governor's head just to see if there's any sort of reaction. As um, Jamarian pokes the governor... She feels resistance from the shadow, but still manages to get through and poke his face. And as she does, a uh, fly comes and lands on his open eye, lands right on the eyeball. And I mean, I like, I like that. And it then just, just flies away. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> I forgot to unmute my headset. It did get recorded, though. So basically, you poke in his face, and uh, a fly comes and lands on his eyeball, and then just flies away. And he just doesn't move an inch. Is he able to, like, close the governor's eyes at least? You close his eyes. <laughs> okay, because let's face it, that's a little unsettling. <laughs> Jim Arian looks deeply into those cloudy, milky, blind looking eyes and closes them softly. Would it be better if we just killed the, the governor right now? Sleep softly, my sweet prince. I mean, Jim Arian's not going to kill somebody who's. Not able to defend themselves. Well, let's be honest here. If you try to call it a mercy killing, Jamarian's gonna whack you upside the head and say, "You never know when it might he might wake up as himself." <laughs> no, I'm, let's, I'm just gonna say it would be it he technically deserved it. Cause let's be honest here, after all the shit that he put us through, but it wasn't really the governor. True. Well, here's the, here's, some... the, here's the thing. Um. She did a really good job earlier of getting through that shadow, of, but she did a perception roll on the shadow itself. Maybe she should check out what the governor himself is up to, or use a spell that extinguishes the shadow. Go, go, That's what I was trying to get Atsuki to do, actually, to actually, like, try and disperse the shadows. I kid you not, I was actually planning on doing that. I'm just trying to find a visual for it. The dwee. I could just see her squatting down next to Jumeri and just kind of using her hands with light. <laughs> yeah, she used her hands to make like a soft glow enough to get through the shadows to see the governor earlier. 
Um, she has a skill called Ball of Light. Yeah, I guess I could use that on him. On the governor, I mean. <laughs> Roll a d20 just to make sure it hits. Atsuki creates a small ball of light and puts it up to the governor's face and kind of plants it into the shadow as a seed as the shadow kind of holds this ball of light like a bowl or a cup would hold water. And uh, as this ball of light is consumed by the shadows, it disperses into the shadow itself around the governor's body, and the shadow it just completely disappears. And you're left with what remains of the governor. As you examine him, you find that all of his bones are a bit different. Like, they've been broken and mended multiple times, like, over the years. And that his face very loosely fits the bone structure of his face. And that his hands and his arms seem to be more blade-like, as if something was poking through from underneath the skin. Did he die when she dissipated the shadow, or is he still just comatose? Comatose. Okay. So, seeing the shadow gone, Jamarian would take take more of the water and actually ch gently try and feed it to the governor. As you attempt to lift up the head of the governor, your hand becomes slippery with a slick, wet, bloody goo, and you realize that the back of his head is stitched up like a knapsack bag. Jamarian's actually going to pull back and gag. So, do I see this too, or...? Yeah, your ball of light, you're like right there, making sure everything stays lit, and uh, basically... Yeah, she's gonna make sure everybody knows, I'm pretty sure. You could explain. Yeah, and Jama uh, <laughs> Jamarian would well. actually look at them and tell them, I think it's better if we just leave him in coma. And based on, based on that. <laughs> Atsuki is obviously, like, disgusted, but then just, like, nods in agreement. <laughs> well, I mean, let's be honest. It's, it's, the way he looks, he would probably just be in misery. If he was fully aware of what's going on with him. Himself, I mean. Here's some, basically, what I'm getting at is... The back of his fucking face is stitched up, as if it's a mask. And all this skin uh, is really sloppy, as if it's falling off, and there's something poking through from underneath. <laughs> this man ain't a man! So, as much as I hate to do this to a living thing, but it is in a coma, Jamarian's gonna look at Atsuki and Majora and tell him to look away. As he will pull out his short sword, and gently... Cut away the stitches, and if possible, pull away this air quotes mask. Roll a d20. Why can't I just see Majora just like covering Atsuki's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Majora's still freaking trying to. Perfect. Jamarian says, You guys might want to look away. As he takes out his knife and cuts the stitching on the back of what they thought was the governor's head as she pulls off a flesh mask from a rotted corpse-like 
black face that is just this thin, skeletal, necrotic fleshed being known as a skin bearer. And you realize that this thing t takes up the space of what was the, once the governor and fills out his fleshly form with its own. Underneath the skin of the governor, you find that it's replaced with the exoskeleton of this creature, which is also like black necrotic flesh. And the creature itself is in the coma, then. Yeah, armored. Okay. Sorry, what was your question? Oh my god. What was your question? Oh no, I was... At this point, seeing that it's not even the governor... Jamarian would take it upon himself to stand up with his battle axe and go ahead and chop its head off. You... Without saying anything to Atsuki and Majora, because he does not want them to see this. As you drop the flush mask to your side, it transforms from the governor's face back into what looks like just a regular knapsack mask cloth mask and Jamarian deciding that this foul creature need not be takes his battle axe and swings down at the head of this creature as it begins to awaken from its unconscious state as oh, fucking of course! the shadows that were keeping it in its coma-like state had dissipated some oh, time shit. ago. Alright, roll that d20. Let's see if you hit it. <laughs> Ooh. No. Luckily, you have advantage. It's a prone on the ground. Roll another d20 and take the higher number. Watch it be even worse and just... These these dice hate me. This bot hates me. See? Oh! I'm freaking... Mm. You had to say it. Just saying it. Can, did they, it. can she at least like add them up? I was gonna add say, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll add, add them up. We'll make it a 10. <laughs> yeah. Make it a 10. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. The uh, creature tries to squirm and get out of the way as the battle axe comes down. It doesn't seem to move fully out of the way as the battle axe connects, but the creature uh, rolls to the side. It stands back up to its feet as you see, as you see shadows starting to surround it. It looks at everybody surrounding it as its head begins to start to lean slightly off balance and it starts to hang by a thread. The shadows dissipate and the creature moves its jaw as if it was trying to scream at you and starts flailing its arms about wildly just trying to attack whatever's nearby. That's a saving throw from Jamarian. And who else is next to it? Atsuki. Jamarian? Saving throw? Yep. Do I do a saving throw too, or no? Indeed. Okay. Um, as it swings wildly, it manages. That explains why I couldn't hear shit. My volume was down. To barely claw Atsuki and Jamarian for only one point of damage, as it cannot see clearly, for its head has almost completely been detached from its body. And Just gonna throw this out there. Nearly headless snake. 
if shambles past both of you after having made contact and just falls to its knees as its head finally finishes unthreading from its corpse. And you see what is known as a flesh bearer's head roll onto the ground as its body now just necrotic exoskeleton revealed underneath just sagging skin of the governor and ripped clothing as it all just falls to the ground in a loose lump of bone sinew and flesh so yeah what do you think of that I'll be back in just one second No lo puedo creer. Dame. ¿En serio? <laughs> Poor Jamarian. He's just like... <sighs> Glad he made that decision to chop the head when he did. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> but here's Majora. Just, would definitely be like, here's what the hell is that thing? Well, here's Majora just, uh, just, lying, just lying up against the wall, just trying to regain his bearings, but it just... Just can't. He's just. Uh... We are definitely staying in. in. <laughs> yeah, Majora's. That's the thing. Majora's Majora is still alive because two, two people did successfully kill each other before we even got into all of this. Mm-hmm. Imagine when we get to the end, there's only a couple sweet and like a one person bedroom. <laughs> or you know, the innkeeper's just dead, and we could take it over as our own. <laughs> Eh, well, yeah. remember, we we do plan on building a, our own place. Like, I kind of, I kind of, well, I kind of want that to be a thing. Well, yeah, yeah. no, I, well, and that's what I was thinking too. If by some chance there's already a pre-existing building, we could turn into our own. That'd be great too. Yeah. Well, Majora would most likely take over the alchemists area. Mm-hmm. Well, and I figured, you know, they'd possibly even have their own separate homes, depending on you know what they prefer to do. Yeah, Majora is. Definitely just fucking, like, fucked his, he definitely has a major concussion from my, from what I'm thinking of. Because, yeah, that, 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 because yeah. since Majora was, like, basically locked on to the governor, um, that blast definitely knocked him a fair distance away. Definitely. <laughs> I'm so glad we managed to get through that. And I managed to avoid him coming back up to shank us behind our backs. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that I landed that in that 20 so Majora could still properly hold on to the fucker. Oh, yeah. No, Jory. Or Jam. Hi there. Welcome back. So, in reaction to everything, Jamarian will just let himself plop on his butt. You know, because he, he, he also was holding his stomach that entire time because the whole thing was revolting to him. And if it's as necrotic as you say, that shit smells. Oh, yes, it's very gross. Musty and crusty. <laughs> <laughs> Not even crusty. That's just liquid. Liquid, yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but, yeah, he's just kind of sitting there on his bum now, just kind of like, ugh. But he will kind of slide over to Majora and tap his head gently. What I missed, by the way? Oh, nothing. We were just talking amongst ourselves about what we're hoping to do after. <laughs> As this loose lump pile of flesh on the ground sits there and you all celebrate your victory the villagers start coming out one by one from their houses seeing their saviors in the middle of the street in front of the what used to be their governor they start coming up to the uh players to the party one by one and thanking them for uh what they've done to save their small village and they say while they don't have much they've scraped together what they could And between everybody, they managed to get up a total of a little bit of gold between everybody. 
So it's uh, between the 43 survivors that were left for the um, village. I'll have to do the math of how much gold they give you, but Jamer they all chip Well, hang in. on. Yeah. Jamarian will honestly give his money back and say, the only thing I want is a house here. Sounds good. But, um, he can't speak majority, for the other two. He's just saying what he wants. Well, Majora can't say anything because he's knocked out. But what Majora would say is that you're I'll not, take the you're not unconscious time. anymore, dude. Enough time has passed. Like this is post game. You won. You did it. Congrats, guys. You beat the game. All <laughs> right, all right. Um, Majora's just like. So, like I said, the oh, villagers are thanking you guys as you um kind of are sitting around this lump of flesh that was the governor before. As you realize that it's you know the skin bearer. A skin bearer is a creature that wears someone else's skin and pretends to be human. So Essentially, like a changeling. Oh, what? That explains a lot. Yeah. But yeah, Majora's just like, the fuck happened? As you guys are all chilling and hearing uh, praise from these villagers, Jamarian forfeits his gold in ask of a house, and the villagers say, of course, as they don't have a governor anymore, they'll have to figure it that out, but they will find a place for you to stay, as there should be plenty of vacancies due to the deaths that they incurred. Honestly, um, if the innkeeper died, I'll totally take the inn building. Yeah, that was Definitely. Basically, um, actually, <laughs> basically, Alvin the alchemist died. Right, and I know Majora wants the alchemist building, which is fine. Um, yes, I know. That's a little shack, shitty little shack, but okay. Um, As yes. you're all standing there, Majora feels this tugging sensation, and a voice speaks to him, saying, Take me. As he looks over at the cloth flesh mask that was once the governor's face, he hears it calling out to him. Uh, this is what it's all building up to. Majora picks it up. No! Don't! Majora, what are you doing, Jermaine will ask? Guys, just watch what happens. So you pick it up. I know. Yes. Where are and we? For shits and giggles, Majora will put it on. Oh, gross. Ugh. Mm -mm. Majora mm -mm. picks no. up the flesh mask from the ground, still dripping in blood and guts, guts. and just s this black, bloody, gutty ooze that was the creature's in between, between its exoskeleton and the flesh itself. So it just, its disgust cannot even be described. And applies, applies it, it directly to his face, face. just like he has the mask. mask in his palm, and he just face plants it like a fucking plate of food, and it just, and he looks up. Majora has obtained Majora's mask. Oh dear lord. He ties the rope binding stitching behind the mask tight and as he does the skin starts to tighten around his own face and as it does the face takes the form of the governor as that's whose face he's picturing it to look as as he wears it oh god so um it's because you're thinking that it looks like the governor, that it does look like the governor. Whoever you want it to look Sorry. like is what it looks like. <laughs> Jamarian is just looking at Majora with the most disgusted look on his face right now. I think he took one look at him and then was like, nope, and decided to look the other way. <laughs> so, how will you take the new Majora, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
sorry. You know what? Let's go with it. Let's go with it. No. <laughs> the villagers, although disgusted, praise you all and say, since you asked for a building here, the clothier comes up and says, then I guess, well, we can give you the governor's place. It's four bedroom, three bath. It's quite a large building. And so the villagers offers the party off. the governor's house, which is a very large building. Okay, obviously Majora is definitely going to take off the mask. <laughs> like, well, uh, already. Jamarian will nod humbly to to the clothier and say, "Thank you very much. I hope we can prove to be good citizens and help you guys pick back up, and hopefully get the village to thrive." Well, I appreciate that, and I'm sure all the others will as well, and we appreciate your contribution to doing so, as I'm sure that will help us get back us on our feet quite quickly, so. Um, so, here's the bag of gold for the rest of you. Um, you'll have to count it to see how much is in there, but it's what all the villagers could get. So, the clothier hands Majora and Atsuki a small bag of gold each. Well, thank Majora, you. Majora would just go, no thanks, this mask is all I need. Are you forfeiting yours as well? What? Yeah, I'm for. I'm keeping the mask, that's the whole reason why we did this! Hey, no! Majora I'm, offers no. to forfeit his gold as well. I'm not even. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even lying. Like, that is legitimately what Majora was. That what we what me and Unseen actually had planned. It's true. <laughs> it's supposed to be a disguise. It's supposed to be a disguise to make Majora look basically like a humanoid version of himself. Basically, my, basically make him look like an elf, more or less. Yeah, yeah. it basically disguises you as a human, so that you not everybody knows you're tiefling. So that if you need exactly. to, get into, like. You know, the Order, for example, who hates demons and will kill them on sight. If you need to infiltrate that place, you could pretend you're one of them and wear a face. Wear somebody's fleshy, exactly, that's... bloody face over yours. And well, Yeah, this is... So, yeah, that's... So, you said it was four bedrooms, three bath? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fun. Yo, Jamarian, yeah. Will look at, uh, Jamarian will look at the two of them. I don't know about you. But I need a bath. <laughs> and he'll just start heading for the mansion. Majora's just Majora's just goes. I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> Ended how it all started. Not there was a lot. Catch me a couple, please, Jumarian says. Well do. Majora walks off into the mm. distance. And walks off to the nearest lake and starts fishing. Yeah, no, I just decided to follow Jamarian because, like, why not? <laughs> I mean, it's got three bedroom or three bathrooms. She can be one while he's in another. <laughs> Options. But yeah, he'll essentially go to the house, you know. Don't have too much fun, you two. Oh yeah, uh huh. <laughs> he'll, he'll go get comfy in a bath and just. Probably soak for the next three hours. Go get a room. <laughs> I already would got not one. Blame the guy. They've both been through a lot, especially uh, since. Well, the you gotta passed. remember, he touched that thing. As yeah. they <laughs> obtain, you also, you also gotta remember that the gold neither of you have had a bath since you fought the basically the forest itself. Oh yeah, I got yeah. covered in that yeah. poisonous slime and. That's <laughs> <laughs> if she still needs to get her clothes clean. I got my clothes clean, but she needs to get her clothes clean. Villagers offer the mansion of the governor. You know, right? they, You'd be surprised with uh, how well the clothier does his job. Oh yeah, his uh, his cloak's not stained at all. Yeah, clothier does very nice work. But yeah, Majora's definitely just going fishing. <laughs> I think he's talking and he's got his mic muted again because it's saying he's typing in the. Yep, 
but as I was saying, the players appreciate the villagers' offer and kindness as they go into the governor's house to relax and they get rest from their weariness of battle. Scotty goes off to get healed by the local healers. Oh wait, no. Uh, uh, can I can I rewind what Majora's gonna do? What Majora's gonna do is that he's gonna give the I'm gonna give the freaking as he was when it You know what? After Majora's learning fishing, you know what he's gonna do? You know what he's gonna fucking do? He's gonna give the freaking the tiefling alchemist a proper a proper burial. Sure, where you wanna bury him? Jamarian really doesn't care about the alchemist after the uh, the alchemist treated him. If I'm being honest, hey, and Dr the fucker and was racist against his own race. Hey, you gotta remember, if it wasn't for the alchemist, basically this entire village would have been a fucking graveyard. I don't dispute that, but he oh. He, was he the got off on the run. He was the only tiefling he, he's ever known, though. Other than Jamarian, but still. Well, yeah, he met you guys, obviously, but my point is, yeah. like, he grew up never knowing what it was like to be anybody. Like, either he had to be part of the people that hated tieflings, or he was a tiefling. <laughs> you know, like, that was his two options. So it was either... Mm -hmm. Embrace it or hate him, so he, ch he went down the more cowardly route. Yeah. And also, if it wasn't for the alchemist, Scotty wouldn't have a hand, because that's how Majora got, got the materials for that salve. Yeah, but think about all the materials he's got now. I know, but still... <laughs> Majora, Majora still respects this man, so Majora's definitely going to give this guy a proper burial. That's fine. Where, I'm just saying where are you having the fog? Well, I was where just explaining why Jamarian's really not going to partake. I know exactly what I'm going to plant. Oh, what I'm going to plant around his grave. That being said, please do not say scythe. crescent scythe, snon. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 just about to say no, crescent scythe. No. <laughs> Hey, no! Just we the Crescent Scythe. His gravestone <laughs> says, eat these. No fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> I wasn't, I'm not joking, that's legitimately what I was going to say. <laughs> um, but after his bath and stuff, Jermaine will actually go out to kind of assess, assess all the damage to the village. Like, how it's deteriorated with the governor being not so governor. As Majora is bringing back like a big asshole of fish. So this um, you find everybody eating good tonight, thanks to Majora. <laughs> Prologue. You find that the town is in quite some disrepair after the battle, and the governor not keeping. Unseen, you're you're muted. Repair of it. As Majora brings <laughs> in, uh wagon load of fish for everybody to eat and uh Jamarian finishes studying the buildings of the town it's in disrepair by the way alright not for long <laughs> Oh, especially if Jamarian has anything to say oh. about it. He may be, be be from a rich lineage, but he knows how to fucking build. And Majora's definitely Majora's gonna help as much as he can. Well, then again, Majora definitely knows how to chop down a tree or two. Since, um, well, let's be honest, he did need to build a fire every now and again. You could always just, just, just wear the there. face of a lumberjack and pretend to be one. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I can see him, like, just putting the mask on and just making himself look like Jamarian. Um, oh dear god. Oh Jack, and that's so oh, good. No. And then Adzuki just comes across the two of them and is, like, confused as hell. Majora takes and off the mask. Even better, somehow Adzuki comes upon Majora while Jamarian's elsewhere. I think Majora's Jamarian. 
that'd be awkward as all fuck. Oh, yeah, we can we have that happen. <laughs> so about that flirting that you would normally do with the other Jamari. <laughs> and which one would just go, um, uh, uh. And then Jamari uh, just walks up like, hey, guys. And I'm like, wait, 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 but you're, you're right. What the fuck? What was that, MC? I'm a lumberjack and that's okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. If anybody gets that joke, then. Yep. Well, good. That's good. It's good for you. I'm a lumberjack. How's the fucking lyrics go at the end? I keep forgetting. It's hilarious, though. Alright, so aside from obviously trying to repair the village and everything, well, um, where are things going, I guess, for out of character and stuff now? Um, yeah, so you find, uh, you, you donated enough money to hopefully get quite a bit of it repaired. Um, at least well, and Jamarian would, st would actually go so far as to start trying to attract people to come into town and spend money and stuff like that. Like, Jamarian Jamari would do all that. Yeah, like, they'll definitely have nicer roads and stuff by the end of the year, you know? Like, it'll be definitely a um, growing village, especially with, um, you know, like, the help that you guys would be giving it. But if you can, if you want, you can make your headquarters there. Well, that's workers. what we were discussing, is that we'd actually like to just make a home out of the town for us, and then, you know, yeah, we'll go out on adventures, but this is where we initially return to. Great, yeah. I gotta, I gotta and, um, voice that clothier. I'm, oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine killing one of the NPCs just because you don't want to voice act him anymore. Oh. <laughs> Not the clothier. But George's gonna be torn by if that happens. Well, they they are a good band of uh NPCs. They definitely got the wares. Hell of a good clothes washer as well. Still feel so bad for the alchemist. Yeah, he got Oh his, yeah. He, he got his head. I could have saved him! You could have. <laughs> Yeah, but we made a At least Scotty survived. Yeah. Good on him. Because let's be honest, if, Sc if Scotty died, we'd all be pissed off. Scotty. He he almost didn't. Scotty. Make it. He, almost he almost didn't make it, but goddamn that trooper! If it wasn't for for basically in the first, if it wasn't for Majora just being kind and like. Actually, like helping him out in the first place. Yeah, none of probably, this would have happened. He probably would have been better off being possessed. Then he wouldn't have had his hand severed. Then he wouldn't have got, got stabbed, stabbed or been stabbed, stabbed in the stomach. Like <laughs> being on your guys' but side got, got his ass, ass whooped. whooped. He almost he died died being your friend. friend. <laughs> well, at the same time, but at the same time, he most likely. <laughs> We we also would have been fucked <laughs> at the same time, you know. Mm -hmm. True. And this is and this adventure would have not nearly have been as interesting. Mr. Scotty over there. Scotty, the fourth party member that we that nobody plays as. Yeah, his health points at what two? I think with that knife in his stomach, they're healing him. But he made it out with two health points. He was yeah, um, Majora's definitely gonna try and. Oh my god, I just realized how Majora's gonna have to try and explain Aerojam to <laughs> Scotty. Oh yeah, he saw you all crazy like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Scotty saw saw Aerojam and now Majora's trying to trying to <laughs> explain it all and Aerojam's going or not, not Aerojam. And now Scotty's just going What the fuck are you talking here about there, lad? Just uh, what the fuck he uh, is. Real quick, let me just wrap up my stream real quick, and then we'll talk. So, uh, to my viewers, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the show. Hit the follow button if you haven't already, yo. And I'll be back tomorrow. Peace. Yeah, so, that was awesome.